to the Forecast Pro Track version 6 introductory video. This video is designed to help you get up and running when you first start using Forecast Pro. The first thing we'll cover is the learning material that you should look at when you first install Forecast Pro. Then what we will do is we'll transition into a product overview showing you the basic user interface, how to load in your data, and how to generate a forecast. The first of the learning material that you should look at is the Forecast Pro Manual. It is a PDF file that installs with Forecast Pro. It contains a full tutorial as well as a statistical reference. It's easy to view and it's easy to search. To access the Forecast Pro Manual, first go to the Help tab in the Forecast Pro interface. And then, in the Documentation section, you can open up any of the User Guide, Tutorial, or Statistical References. As you can see, the Forecast Pro user guide is in PDF form. We have our table of contents over here on the left, which allows us to guide through and see what we have available in the manual itself. This is a great place to start when you're first getting used to using Forecast Pro. The next place you should look is our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Forecast Pro. There are dozens and dozens of different videos available to you, both on quick starts of the different versions of Forecast Pro, as well as an archive of our free forecasting webinars that we perform once a quarter. Now we will focus on a product overview. We're going to look at the user interface of Forecast Pro, how to load some data into the system, and how to generate a forecast. When you first start up Forecast Pro, you'll see our home screen. This will allow us to either start a new project or open an existing project. For this lesson, we're going to go ahead and open up a new project. As you can see, the Forecast Pro interface is designed to look very similar to the Microsoft Office products, where we have a ribbon menu up top with numerous tabs that allow us to work within the tool. We will primarily focus on the Home tab. The first thing that we would want to do is bring in data. So we will use our Data Manager right here. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. We will then want to load in some historic data. I'm going to use some sample data that installed with Forecast Pro. As you can see, we can bring in data from a variety of different sources. I'm going to choose just an Excel file. For this example, I'm going to use our Auto Parts data. So I'm going to scroll down here to our Auto Parts historic data. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. You'll see the file gets added to my data manager and it requires a refresh. So I'll go ahead and click on the read and forecast buttons, which will again read the data in from my Excel file and automatically generate a forecast for me. I'm done with the data manager. I'll go ahead and close this. You can see my graph and my forecast overrides are visible to me. So I can see the data both graphically and numerically. Along the left hand side, I have my product hierarchy. In this case, I have a four level hierarchy, starting with my total, breaking down by category, breaking down by warehouse, and breaking down by SKU. If I wanted to make some model changes, I can go to the forecasting tab. As you can see, I have lots of different forecasting options available to me. For instance, if I wanted to put on a simple model, I can go ahead and do that. Or I could put on a seasonal model, I could go ahead and do that. Again, allowing me to apply models. If I wanted to look at different reports, I would go to the Reports tab. I could turn on other reports, for instance, the item report here. I can close certain windows and go ahead and move these windows down to resize them as I would see fit. Coming over here. I can also turn these windows off and return back on my override grid. When I'm ready to export my data, I would simply go to the Export tab, and I could export any of the reports that I was looking at, as well as any of my numeric data as well. My final step would be to go to the File menu, and I would want to go ahead and save my project itself by saying File Save, and saving my project out. When I am done, I can simply go back to my File menu, and close the project that I was working on. This concludes our brief introduction to Forecast Pro. I highly recommend you either look at our Forecast Pro manual or our YouTube page to take a deeper dive into introducing yourself to Forecast Pro.